Guys, UFC 280 is stacked, and Charles Oliveira is on a revenge tour trying to get his belt back. If you like to bet on fights, our show sponsor, DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the UFC, is now giving new customers a deal you don't want to miss. New customers, sign up. Using promo code SUN and bet $5 on either fighter to win and get an additional $200 in free bets if your bet wins. That's an additional $200 in free bets in your pocket if your pre-fight wager of $5 or more on the fighter to win hits. Want even more action? Combine multiple bets, like who will win and how long the fight will last in a parlay bet to give you a shot at even bigger winnings. If mobile sports betting is not available in your state, DraftKings Daily Fantasy is giving all MMA fans a chance to cash out this weekend. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use the promo code SUN and bet $5 on any UFC 280 fighter to win and get $200 in free bets if your pick wins. That's code SUNNEN. This Saturday at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of the UFC. Pick a fight, promote a fight, not the same thing. The strategies that you need to employ to pick a fight where once you're successful and you've won, it doesn't mean you've stepped in the octagon, it means you signed a bout agreement. Whatever strategy you have to pick a fight, once that bout agreement is signed, if you're a strategic person, will change when you start to promote a fight, which means it's on the other side of the signing of the bout agreement. Are we all together? Now, Khabib is a massive part of Islam getting this opportunity. Khabib is also a massive talk going in to the contest. There was, at one point, a statement by Khabib. Now, it had to do with Khabib trying to get a match for Islam opposite Conor McGregor. But it was the one and only time that Khabib ever let the guard down of his absolute retirement. Khabib said, if Conor will give Islam the fight, if Connor beats Islam, I will come out of retirement and I will give Connor part two against me. Now, this was huge news when he said it. He never reconfirmed it. He never doubled down. He never co-signed on the statement. He set it down and he walked away, but the bus rest of us grabbed it, didn't we? Oh my goodness, we've got to get Connor in there with Islam. We absolutely must do this. It's our only way to get Khabib back. It was a big deal. Now, right on the heels of that, insert Charles. And when you inserted Charles, this was very different because this was going to be a world title opportunity. Forget about the fact that Charles isn't the champion right now. He was when the statement came up. He, he was when this idea came started to percolate. Connor wasn't. Khabib knew that wasn't going to be a world title fight. Connor wasn't ranked number one. They knew that wasn't going to elevate Islam. But Red Panty Night is still very real. The only thing that Islam was missing was an understanding by you, the audience, of who he was, what he looked like, a little bit of his story. Getting opposite Connor is going to solve all those problems as a byproduct. So when Charles came and he started talking about this match, I thought it was very obvious that Team Charles was not a sandhagen. Team Charles would know what time it is, they would know what was going on in the career, and they would make Khabib put up what he just offered two weeks ago, which was, if I beat your guy, Islam, you come back, you face me. That's just what I thought. I just thought that that was going to happen. It ended up not being any part of this. But I think we would be in a massively different spot in terms of anticipation and in terms of storyline if we had done that. Now, I don't think that Khabib would have wanted to outshine Islam. None of Khabib's elevation of Islam is self-serving. I've never seen that. I've never seen Khabib use Islam in a way of keeping his own name out there. Islam was way down here in terms of notoriety to Khabib, who was the king. Khabib did all of this just because it's this guy, because it's the right guy, because he thinks the guy deserves an opportunity. I think there's a relevance to that. But Khabib, prior to the signing of this fight, was even arguing 
the mythical breakdown. I mean, right now it's a reality, but once upon a time, the mythical breakdown, Khabib was arguing it, saying, don't tell me Charles is great on the ground. Charles has tapped out eight times. I am not viewed as great on the ground. I've tapped out zero times. Islam is being dismissed on the ground. He's tapped out zero times. The guy you're telling me is great has tapped out eight times. I never verified that. I'm not telling you now Charles has tapped out eight times. I don't actually know. But I know that Khabib said that. I know that I, I even filmed it as he was saying that to Henry Cejudo and then showed Khabib the tape and said, can I have this? Can I put this on my Instagram? And I did. Khabib is continuing on with the idea that Charles is not good on the ground. He's continuing on with the idea that Islam can handle the fight and take care of himself should they get to the ground. And he's pointing out those eight losses, which was very effective prior to signing the bout agreement. I like that spirit. I like that attitude from Khabib as a way of picking a fight, which we have successfully done once we signed a fight. Now we go into promotion of the fight. I don't agree with it anymore. I heard Khabib say it earlier today. I don't agree with it. I think he should be building the opponent. I don't think he should point out his losses. I don't know why I see people out here in my hometown of West Lynn driving around with Bob Dole bumper stickers from 2008, 2004. I don't have the foggiest idea why they would advertise their loss. Show off a support that they had. They couldn't convince enough people. I don't understand that. This fight can only go two ways for Islam. He wins or he does not win. If he was to get beat, if he was to get submitted, the narrative that he's in there with the absolute greatest submission artist, artist that the sport and the division has ever seen would be very helpful. If you get submitted by a guy who sucks at submissions, which is the way the story is being told, that is to pick the fight, not to promote the fight. I'm just bringing to you the difference. I'm trying to show you guys the difference. When you have a strategy, when you think you're a clever guy, a lot of times you're right. I have watched guys clever. I've watched guys strategically get opportunities. Then I think possibly they're an intellectual equal. Possibly I have somebody that I can finally have a meaningful conversation with. But if you don't change after the bout agreement, then you're not in that same pool, right? Even a, even a blind squirrel finds a nut sometimes. Sometimes somebody will do something really brilliant, but they won't understand what it is that they did. And as a professor, I can sit back and I can watch and I can tell who's different. Because if you're saying the th same thing when you're in promote fight mode that you did in pick fight mode, and you don't see the clear separation being the bout agreement, I now know that you're a blind squirrel that found a nut. I'm okay with that. But I do wonder why it would continue on. Are you still trying to convince your pupil? If every word you say as a mentor is being clung to, do you have a pupil in your presence who is not yet convinced, does not yet have the confidence that, in this case, I can go to the ground, not be in trouble, and in fact succeed? I'm merely asking the question. But we're left with two deductions on the fact that King Khabib is still talking about the lack of ground skills possessed by Charles, where we have two. Right? We don't have 10. We don't have 15 different means. We have two. Does he really want to diminish the victory of Islam? Does he not want Islam on the shoulders and to truly take the throne? Is he trying to diminish it? Because if the guy's terrible that you're beating, you don't get credit for beating him. Or does he have a student who in private, in his most private of moments, has shown to you a reluctancy or even verbalized a lack of confidence in his ability to go to the ground. 